A reason as to why a disembodied voice was pestering me? I don't know, Doctor. I've never been too good at dealing with such things. I get... confused. I'm easily goaded, you see. William Yates, with very little effort, persuaded me to draw rude words on the blackboard. Madison Sharple said it would work out just fine if I tripped Mrs. Cox as she walked into the classroom. And Nigella Hayes swore that I'd feel better after drinking that cold tea. Cold tea that turned out to be puddle water. <laughs> anyway, I, I tucked into the sixth Granny Smith and devoured the whole thing, seeds and all, in a matter of seconds. A loud clap of thunder sounded and I heard that shrill voice again. But this time it sounded uh, muted, uh, sort of like it was speaking from within the confines of a cardboard box. It said, Good, good, that'll do it, matey. And then I realized that the voice was emanating from the confines of something. It was emanating from the confines of my body. I felt it as much as I heard it. An unmistakable series of vibrations moving through my blood and bones. I, I wondered then who it was that had delivered the apple, why they had been delivered, and if that person had been out to get me in some way or other, why the warning? Remember to pace yourself, the note had read. And then the cramps, the crippling cramps, I fell to the floor, convulsing in pain, and with every agonizing second that passed, the storm without increased in ferocity. What have you done to me? I yelled, nobody in particular. What have you done? But, uh, but I heard the shrill voice no more. Its source was inside me now and I could feel it stretching its tendrils out into my extremities. Nightmarish wisps reaching into my fingertips and toes. Whatever it was, it was trying to take me over, Doctor. Right then, I was overwhelmed by a sharp pain in the index finger of my left hand. I glanced down and saw that something had popped out of the end of it. Something dark and twig-like sprouting with the rapidity of a blade of grass observed in a time-lapse video. I panicked, Doctor. J just panicked. W w w with a great deal of effort, I climbed to my feet and raced to the kitchen in search of a blade. I found the meat cleaver immediately. I stretched out my monstrous arm, lifted the cleaver in the air and with all the force I could muster, brought it down on my elbow joint. It took a few swings, Doctor, because it wasn't just flesh and bone I had to hack through. I had to hack through that stick, too. That branch that presumably had its roots somewhere in my chest. Oh, uh, uh, I don't remember much after that. I blacked out. The owner of the cabin found me, and I have the storm to thank for that. A telegraph pole was struck by lightning outside. The thing collapsed and took out the front door. Serendipity, don't you think? Woke up in hospital the following day, groggy and missing my left arm at the elbow. No sign of the twig, though. Nothing unusual reported by the doctors, either. But I tell you now, I swear to you now that I still hear that voice sometimes. One more will do it, matey, it says. Just one more. I think I weakened it somehow when I hacked my arm off. Put the fear of God into it. I mean, it wouldn't want me to go kill myself, would it? What would it do then? I reckon it thinks that it might be able to get the better of me again if I fill my belly with a few more of those seeds. Seeds from those Granny Smiths, the origin of which I still to this day am none the wiser about. Well, what do you think, Doctor? Delusion? Could it be that simple? Your story is certainly an interesting one, Mr. Modis. 
but I am convinced without a shadow of a doubt that your inner demon is a delusion. Such things simply cannot be. What more will do it? What? What did you say? See? You heard it, didn't you? You did, didn't you? I heard you whisper something under your breath, Mr. Morris. That wasn't me, Doctor. That was it. It. That was me, matey. Only me. There is just no possible way that this is... Mr. Morris is gone. Disappeared. Managed to escape somehow. I'm at a loss to explain it. Nor can I explain the presence of foliage in his cell. Crisp green leaves and apple seeds. This is getting ridiculous. Hell mouth.